This film is called India's Most Wanted. That's it. <laughs>
And how excited is everybody for this film? Like, is there a big buzz going on? Like, we can tell you here in the States when a movie's coming out and there's great excitement for it. Yeah. It's, you know the difference between it and just another film that's coming out. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to know how excited everybody is for yeah. this one. Yeah, um, it's... Uh, let me yeah, see. see, inspired by true events. Okay, this inspired by true events. Um, <laughs> I don't... Yeah, I don't... I'm trying to... And are there other movies about this event that we may, we may have... Stumbled across and yeah, because obviously don't people know. don't know how this film is because it hasn't right, come out, not out yet, yet. Um, so they can't really tell us. Yeah, that. but it's, we would know like if if you tell us a movie's coming out with certain actors or certain directors and certain people involved in it, there's an immediate hype and a buzz because you are pretty well, confident it's going to be really really good. Well, Archie Kapoor is a big yeah, he's huge, a big, he's a big time deal, correct? Um, but I mean, he's not like a. Ren Veer, he's not that right, uh, but he is a big um, group of intelligence officers embark on a top secret mission. To uh, it's kind of crazy that they didn't have like any support though behind it. I know. Why is, it is that? Is it because maybe he hadn't attacked in India yet? Maybe. And in India's not. Yeah, India's not one to attack first. Right. They finish things. Right. Because um, they were like, I think they're one of the only nations to never attack. Correct. First. So but, maybe they have. A, maybe it's one of those things of. Guys, we're not going to sanction this because we can't go and authorize a strike, but we're also not going to, you know... Help you. Yeah, we're going to disown you, like, in Mission Impossible. It's yeah. Like, you guys, if you get caught, we don't know who you are. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, and its director is... Raj, Raj Kumar Gupta. And he directed No One Killed Jessica. Mm -hmm. um, and a couple other ones, but we don't know it. Um, well, Amir, Interesting. That one, I've seen some, just today, some stupid babies were sending me messages on Instagram about that particular film. Right. And I think it's because we just reacted to No One Killed Jessica. Mm -hmm. So they're like, hey, this director also did this movie. You should watch this because that was before No One Killed Jessica. I'm wondering if, and he's, now he's, got this. if he's one of those directors that likes to make political movies. Maybe so. Because um, obviously this is a, not like political both sides kind of thing, but like right. a, it's no, a it's high the, profile kind of thing. Right. Kind of like and, a No One Killed Jessica, right. which is the similar. A high profile yeah. thing. Or a story uh, like Rozzy, which is a high profile yeah, military think, story. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but let us know how he is, so what, what film of his is the best. And hopefully this comes here and we get a release in the States so we can go to a theater. Yeah. And it's not 50 miles away. Let us know what you think <laughs> of it. Yeah. Because, but when we watched the Kalunk trailers, we thought those were phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, yay, that one's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs>